In today's tutorial, we're gonna take this Rhino model and turn it into this beautiful rendering using just Rhino and V-Ray. Let's dive right into it. So first, here we have our huge site model. Um, there's a lot going on here. There, there are buildings, topography, and our, of course, main design. What we want to do is get rid of anything that we're not gonna be dealing with. So for example, I'm gonna hide the buildings because we're not gonna be using these guys. Next thing I want to do is turn this mesh topography into a workable surface. So I'm gonna type in the command called patch and you should adjust the values here so that it closely matches what you have. So for example, if we look here, the preview geometry here is shown in gray and it's a little different from our patch. So I'm gonna increase the fidelity of the trace. So if we hit preview now with a higher fidelity, you'll see that the new surface matches our topography a lot more closely. So if that looks good, I'm gonna say okay and delete our original mesh and clean up all the other surfaces that we're not gonna be using. There we go. And I'm also gonna delete the base plate right over here. And all we're left with is our building and topography. Great. I'm also going to crop out just a bit of the site that we're gonna be using. So I know it's, it's a little hard to see, but there's a surface going on and this is looking from the top. And I'm gonna create a rectangular crop around our site like so. And this is going to be the scope of our podium basically. All right, I'm gonna take this rectangle and then extrude it all the way up. Great. Now I'm gonna take the topography surface and the box and trim each other. So once we click twice, boom, boom, we're left with a nice looking podium. Great. Now, there's a little bit of sprinkle of magic we have to put in, which is people and vegetation. So for today's demonstration, I'm gonna be using the low poly people from our Archihacks package. Um, you can download this from the link in the description. Feel free to download it there. These models are specifically designed to look sort of like actual plastic figures that you put into your model. And it's also a really great way to support our channel. So if you guys are interested, you can check that out. So I'm going to go ahead and select, um, open up the V-Ray Asset Editor, go over here, right click on this little cube and create a scatter geometry. Now scatter geometry allows you to quickly populate a surface. So I'm going to go ahead and click on add guests and then click on the surface right over here and apply our scatter geometry onto here. Now one thing to be careful actually before you do this is make sure the density is correct. So this density implies that this is the number of instance in every square meter. So we probably don't want too many people here. So I'm gonna reduce this down to let's say 0 0.01 and then apply it. Cause if it's too many, it could actually crash your system. Now we're almost ready. So the model just needs to be transformed into a model scale. Now, right now the whole podium, let's see, is like, you know, 220 meters wide. We probably want this to be like one meter. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna use scale 3D command, or I guess just scale, and scale this down by, let's say, uh, any amount that works for you, I guess. Let's start with 0 0.01. You start from the any point and then type in your scale factor, which is 0 0.01. And let's see how big that is. Now this is 1.5 meters. It's a little hard to tell, but this is also a really good time to use the scale figure because um, these guys are also um, same scale as in real life. So I think the model is looking a little big. So I'm gonna go ahead and scale this down again, maybe by half. So let's do that. And I think that sounds pretty reasonable to me. Now, gather people is lost. It's because our density is super low. As we mentioned before, every square meter is 0.01 person right now. And since this is not even a meter wide, um, there's like zero person. So what we want to do is we probably want to have like, let's say 100, okay, 100 per square meter. Looks pretty good. Okay, that's good. Now I'm gonna set up the studio environment. This is also another key component of this tutorial. This is gonna make everything look a little bit more realistic and kind of, kind of nice. So I'll create a surface at the bottom and extrude one of the surfaces. Um, you can select one of the edge by holding down control shift and then clicking on the edge of a object. Great. Now what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna start applying some textures. And to do so, let's start up a interactive render on V-Ray to see what's going on. 
Okay, so as you can see, the texture is a mess right now. Um, everything has this wooden texture and the scaling is not correct. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and select everything by hitting Control A and then applying a, let's say a generic wooden material from the V-Ray material library. I'm gonna scroll all the way down to the wooden section and find plywood. Okay, let's find, let's drag and drop in plywood A right click on it and apply it to selection. Now all the material is plywood, but scale is still incorrect. So I'm gonna go ahead over to the properties into mapping and type in 50 centimeters for each dimension in a cubic mapping. So every texture has a slightly different um, dimension specification. So make sure to use the one that is right for your texture. You can click anywhere in the model and type in 50 centimeters three times and then say yes for cap. Let's give it a second to apply to all the objects. And as you can see, the model is looking a little bit better. So it's still not perfect, but we'll get to, we'll get to a better state soon. So the next thing I want to do is I want to add some concrete texture to the wall and the floor. So let's go over to the concrete section and drop in some concrete flooring. So concrete flooring will go to the floor element. So I'll click on floor, right click, apply to selection, and I'll go over to the wall over here. Let's choose a concrete simple, A1. And I'll try applying that to the wall. Okay, that looks a lot better. Great. So now next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create the material for the transparent members, such as the glass and the water. So let's go over to a V-Ray asset editor again. And for this, I'm going to go down to the liquid and choose alcohol. So in this scale, I find that alcohol works pretty well. So this is a bit of a secret life hacks to this kind of model render. And I'm going to go ahead and select pool and glass elements. Right click, select objects. It's right off the screen, but you know where to find it. And I'll apply to selection. And immediately from the interactive rendering, you'll see the difference like that. And cool getting really close. Um, a couple things I want to refine is maybe I kind of want the podium to be white at this point. So I'm going to go over to the generic and make this um, make this white. Maybe a little too white. Let's make it a little gray because nothing is absolutely white in real life. So that this looks like a kind of generic um, podium where you can put anything on. And to kind of like emphasize our model so that nothing kind of like blends into everything. Okay, so that looks pretty good to me. And then now all we have to do is position our camera so that we can find our aesthetic angle. So maybe something like this with a lot of uh, negative space at the top. I think that looks pretty cool. Um, or we can zoom out and have something like this from afar as well. So that you can really get a feeling of like being at a gallery or something like that. So this is actually really cool as well. Okay. Now I'll pause the interactive rendering and prepare for the actual one. So for that, I'm going to go over and turn off interactive, turn off progressive, and then turn on denoiser and choose V-Ray for this one. Okay, and then last but not least, I'll increase the render output dimension to about 1160 and hit render. All right, rendering has begun and I'll see you guys when it's ready. Boom, wow, look at that. That looks amazing, even without zooming in. And on a closer inspection, like the texture is looking flawless. The shadow looks really good. And look at that model. It's got the wooden texture as well as reflective plexi element and a bunch of people that are like kind of scattered throughout the site. Honestly, it looks like a great piece to have in your portfolio. It could be like a cover page for some kind of publication. And um, honestly, I think it's a pretty fun render to do as well. So hope you guys found this useful. Hope you guys found the resources very helpful. And um, yeah, hope this opens up a new possibility for you guys. Thanks for tuning in. As per the usual, it's been Ben from Archiax, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.